I love, I just love the look. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Panama hat. Um, <clears throat> doesn't have to be bright white. And I don't, I'm not like super, like I need like the specific, you know, best Monte Cristi, you know, pay thousands of dollars for a hat. But mm-hmm. I have, my, mine is from a brand called H- Homero Ortega. And I think it was like 60 or $70. Mm-hmm. So not much at all. And it, it lasts. It's a very, for me, it's a, it's a great hat. It, it just, uh, I'm generally not a hat person. I have a felt fedora that I'll wear sometimes. Mm-hmm. And this just, I think, so the, I hate dressing in the summer. I hate summer style. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much more you can do. I feel in the fall and winter, you know, with, with outerwear and layers, it's always more difficult for me in the summer because you don't want to wear a lot of stuff mm-hmm. and it's hard to just put outfits that look complete mm-hmm. together. And so I guess for me, in the summertime, what a hat does is it kind of really adds that level of completion to a look for me. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. Like if I have a certain l- outfit on in the summer and let's say it's like a fresco jacket and just a button up shirt that I don't have a tie on and maybe some linen pants and loafers. If I don't have it, I just feel like there's something missing. And then when I put the hat on, it's like, that's it, mm-hmm. you know? And now I know a lot of people profess to not being hat people. That is me right there, but continue, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, <clears throat> so you're not a hat person, but but why is that? I, it, I can't remember any ever seeing you with a hat on, maybe a, like a baseball cap. In any of your Instagram photos? Yeah, that's, I mean, you've been, yeah, well, you've been following for a long while if you've seen that post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, I, I just, I I do not see myself wearing wearing a hat. It just looks awkward on me. I mean, I like, I like beanies uh, to some degree, but hats, there is no way you will ever see me wearing a hat. Like, I tried, but... It feels awkward. It looks awkward. People say it's awkward. It's it's all awkward. Why? Why? So you've tried it. I tried, yeah. You've tried it, but you don't. Still not a hat person. And what no. kind of hat? What kind of hats have you tried? I think there was a classic Panama hat, and oh. uh, I tried some at Pity. I don't know the exact terms because I'm just not into hats. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm not gonna provide a photo. Because it looks awkward, but uh, no. How um, big? How big was the brim? This much. So it was like a normal size hat. Yeah, yeah. It's just I, I, it doesn't feel right on me. You know, um, mm-hmm. I see you wearing a hat. Like I could, I could totally um, see you wearing a hat. Do you know this? There's a guy at Pity. Um, he's always wearing a hat. Uh, Guy. It's not his name is Guy. Guy. I will look this guy up. I'll send you. He looks, I do not know how he looks without a hat, to be honest. He's always uh, wearing a hat. He's a hat guy. He's a hat guy. See, okay. I think two thoughts here. There are some people who really, you know, a hat comes to really define their style. And like this person you're talking about, mm-hmm. uh, that's that's like, that's his thing, right? He's a that kind of hat or whatever whatever he wears or there's that other guy uh i think his name is johnny fontana am i thinking of the right guy I... he's like got a beard he's always got a like yeah a big santa claus kind of beard i know i know who you mean i think that's his name but he's always i think he's always wearing a hat mm-hmm. and yeah so a hat can become something that is definitely like a part of one style, but then there's the occasional hat wearer like me. I wouldn't say I'm a hat guy, but every once in a while, I think it, it, for the particular look, I think it really completes it Mm -hmm. for people who, this is what I always say. I think, I think that either, I mean, if you're not comfortable wearing it, that's, that's one thing you're not comfortable wearing it. And that, that will come across and people will see that. Yeah, But I think a lot of people don't like to wear hats because they're just not used to seeing themselves in a hat. Either that or also 
other people seeing you wearing a hat and looking at you wearing a hat. That's also something. Because I, if I go into the city, in the city of Hamburg, like there is not a single person wearing a hat ever. And that's why you stick out immensely. Uh, so it's definitely, there's like a bit of a geographical kind of thing at play as well. Do you see people walking around with hats? Sometimes. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, you've got the U.S. Uh, there, there, you've got the, the people in Texas, for example. I think. Oh, well, that's a different right. kind of hat. The like cowboy hat is. Different. Yeah, but that's a hat. That's a hat. It's it's. Uh, there's no but no no one in Germany wearing a hat ever. Like honestly, there is no situation. I agree with you. Either you know, you can tell like if someone is not a hat person and they're trying to wear a hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just kind of you you can tell whether they're comfortable or not. Mm -hmm. A good friend of mine works at Goren Brothers Hat Shop in, in the West Village. And he says the best thing to do is just go into the shop, try on tons of hats, and see if you can find one that, that fits your style and that you're comfortable with. And if not, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. But you don't know if you never try. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, I mean, you just got to be the type of person for it. Uh, to me, it's the same like with cornrows, you know, these the kind of hairstyle cornrows. Mm -hmm. Um there are some people that look phenomenal with it. There's just some people who think like, dude, don't do it ever again. But uh, like, like every teenager who goes on spring break in the United States. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I've never been to spring break, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah.